Where are these cars? What happened to them? Well, Europe's definitely a big story. They're, they're selling a lot more there. The, the company isn't, isn't super keen to give a play-by-play -play every month about how many are going there versus the U.S., but it's fair to say a lot of them are there. And then the second theory is that, you know, the path between the factory and the dealerships here in the U.S. isn't quite as straight and smooth as the company's led on thus far. Now, Corey, you've taken a critical look at Tesla sales over the years. I, a few, yeah. What, what's your take on this? What's going on here? Well, I, one w might ask themselves, why would Tesla exaggerate the number of cars sold? You know, uh, in, in the history of time, when we see companies who want to demonstrate great gross margins, they push a lot of product through their factory because it improves gross margins and it lets them demonstrate that. I think that it, it, it's worth noting that the metric that Wall Street pays attention to more than any other for Tesla isn't revenues. It's certainly not the losses. There are, of course, no profits. Uh, it's the number of cars they make. If they, if they don't say they sold a lot of cars or made a lot of cars in a quarter, the stock plummets. If they said they made a lot of cars in a quarter, the stock goes up. But it does leave this question, where are the cars going? Kyle, what has Tesla's response been to you in regards to this story? Yeah, they're not keen to talk about registrations. That's not a metric that, that is theirs. That, that comes through the DMVs of each particular state. So. They talk vaguely about orders and they talk about deliveries. That's the number, like Corey said, that they give to the street. So they say deliveries are strong, demand, the thesis, is, you know, their, their take has always been demand is unfaltering um, and that's the most important thing. So as they bring production up to meet that demand, you know, bulls should be happy. Elon Musk, Corey, has said that demand isn't a problem for them. It's actually production. Um, okay, <laughs> great. I mean, th he can say that, but like in this, in our home state of California, right, we see Teslas all the time on the road. We live in fancy neighborhoods in, in Northern California where the weather's just right, where people have got the access to a car that costs about $100,000. But their sales in California are down 43% a year, year over year. And as the car gets longer in the tooth, that number, you know, the number is what the number is. They're, they're selling fewer cars, or at least registering fewer cars in this state. And the cumulative number of cars is going up, but the, the growth rate is, 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 you know, tanking. And so they're, they're talking about new cars in the future, although those, the, the, the launch of that car has been pushed back. They've announced some new cars where they, they don't even have launch dates yet. It's a problem for Tesla. They, they, to the numbers that they release, they used to give us numbers about how big their backlog is. They stopped giving that number as that number, you know, maybe doesn't look as good. Maybe it's better right now, but we don't know anymore because they don't release that number. They don't like to talk about registration, maybe because that number is great. But what we can see from U.S. data, it's not so good. There are a lot of peculiarities also about where this car is being sold outside of the U.S. For example, Europe, 40% of Euro European sales are to Norway. Now, 40% of Europeans are not in Norway, but Norway has offered uh, some great uh, deals for people buying Tesla cars there. Those may not continue forever, and that could be a problem for Tesla. So they're, they're facing a lot of headwinds. The car is really cool. But the marketplace isn't embracing this as if it's a, a Ford Taurus or as if it's a BMW 5 Series. Those cars are selling so much better than Tesla and increasingly so. It's interesting, though, if you look at the shares, Kyle, they're generally up and to the right. Why don't investors call them out on this if this is indeed happening? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of m momentum in the stock. I think everyone's pretty thrilled that the production's finally coming up. Um, they're excited about the new model. So you, you'll, see, you'll see people get out here and there as the numbers look shaky, but I think generally it's, it's still momentum stock and it's still an exciting company.